Well, hello, my lovely, beautiful, and handsome Capricorns. I hope that all is well. This is Midas Touch, and today I'll be doing a reading for you all. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Keep in mind that these are just general messages, so not everything will resonate. Take what resonate, leave with us not, and let us begin. Spirit of Divine Light and Guardian Angels, what's coming towards Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of August 5th? Please speak through me and through the cards for the viewers. Please also protect me and the viewers from all harm. Thank you. Okay, so the first card that came out, it's the Tower card. I feel that you guys are coming through some sort of real excuse me, realization regarding a person or a situation. You're having some sort of reality check. For others of you, there's going to be some sort of ending to a situation or a circumstance, and it's going to give you a reality check. This is going to be something that it was necessary for it to end. It was necessary for it to stop because you would have never realized something or you could have continuously going down the wrong path or the wrong route. However, with the second card being the Knight of Swords card, I feel that whatever ending that you face, it's going to birth out a warrior within you, you're going to become fearless, extremely ambitious, and more meticulous and skillful. So if these were people that betrayed you, whether that be in your personal or professional life, it's going to make you even more stronger and meticulous. And I'm feeling like this is going to make you even more vigilant. You're going to be screening people. You're going to become more intuitive. You're going to read people as if you're reading them like a book. You're going to know who they truly are just by looking at their eyes or by looking at their heart. Some of you Capricorns already have this ability. So whatever ending betrayal that you face it was actually a blessing in disguise because it caused you to become more fearless, more brave, and more ambitious. Now, with the Empress card coming out in this reading, actually, let me zoom in a little bit. With the Empress card coming out in this reading, I do feel that whatever it is this person or group of people thought that they did against you, it really did not stop anything for you because you guys are coming up as a very successful person. I'm hearing the Monica song still standing. So if you never heard the Monica song, I would advise you after this video to go on YouTube and search the name Monica and the name of the song is still standing. So, um, I feel that there's a message for you because I'm getting a man or a woman still standing strong after the betrayal, after the rejection, after the disappointment. And I'm also getting a level up energy for you, Capricorn. I'm feeling like a particular group of Capricorns, you're going to be leveling up. And actually, the Empress card is also a card of fertility as well. So some of you guys could already be pregnant. Some of you guys are extremely fertile. So I would advise to be careful because we are in the pre-shadows of Mercury retrograde, if I'm not mistaken. So there is someone who um, is also thinking about coming back towards you. They are going to love bomb you or they're currently love bombing you. And I would say um, to uh, hold out on dealing with this person because they are very treacherous or there's something very shifty about them. It's like they're two-faced or there's another side to them that they're trying to hide. 
but I feel that they're going to get exposed. For some of you guys, this person has already been exposed and you walked away from them, but they're thinking about making their way towards you during the pre-shadow period or doing Mercury retrograde, of course. Yeah. So this person will try to impregnate you to keep you bound to them because they want to have access to you for life. And if this is not what you want, this was your warning, Capricorn. So this card, which is the Three of Wands card, it did come up in reverse. So this person is, and actually I believe I said treacherous if i'm not mistaken this person is a treacherous person they are extremely arrogant and they do not have their life together now this person may be a fire sign person they may be a aries a leo or a sagittarius Now, for others of you, if this is not this person, this was an energy that you once had where you were arrogant and it caused you to lose something. It caused you to lose a blessing. And a lot of people walked away from you. It was like an eye opener because these were people that you used to look out for. And you see and you have accepted accountability where you messed up at. You realize that you were arrogant and you lost this blessing. However, it made you into a better person. Now, if this is not you, I'm also picking up that this could be for another Capricorn that was dealing with someone while they were dealing with you. They were extremely arrogant. They were extremely prideful and they did not handle business the correct way when dealing with you. And as a result, they lost the biggest blessing, which was you, Capricorn. Hmm. So I try my best to make that message sound as clear as I can. So if it doesn't resonate, please also watch my other videos for your sun, moon, rising and Venus. Yes, so, um, and actually this person is coming up as the King of Cups because this was the next card. So this person may have water somewhere in their chart, which is Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. They are extremely crafty. They're going to try to come across as being more considerate at this time. This could be a man, a woman, a relative, a serious relationship that you broke up or walked away from. Let me get some other messages from a different deck for you lovely, beautiful, and handsome Capricorns. Spirit of Divine Light and Guardian Angels, please give me some extra messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of August 5th of 2024. Thank you. Okay. Cooperation instead of competition, moonlighting, let go of guilt. It's safe for you to receive. Okay. So for some of you guys, this message will resonate. For others of you, it will not. But I am going to read this card. It's about cooperating instead of competing. I feel that this may pertain to someone that's trying to compete with you, Capricorns. So not all of you Capricorns are trying to compete with anyone. However, some of you guys may oftentimes compete, but it's due to the nature that you have. You are an extremely competitive person. You're extremely ambitious and driven. You just, you're not a slacker. You like to win at all costs. And I get that. Let's see. So what's yours is yours. No one can take it from you. There's no need to compete as there's an abundance for all. You have complete access to unlimited abundance for yourself and to share with others. With cooperative partnerships, you can accomplish anything. So you, you ever heard of the saying, um, two heads are better than one? So if you have people around you that can honestly help you, instead of competing with them, 
why not bring them along, you know? If you can't beat them, join them. Or why not join them, you know? I don't know who that message is for. And the next card, which is the Moonlighting card. I feel that you guys have this dream. However, you're staying complacent to something. Something that's not bringing you much at this time. For some of you, it's due to the fact that you feel as long as you continue to water this desire, this dream, that it will come to pass. But that dream will not come to pass if you're putting all your eggs into this career that is not benefiting, benefiting you, Capricorn. You got to ask yourself, you have to weigh the pros and the cons to see if this career is really worth, you know, retiring off of. But it's really up to you, Capricorn. And for this card, it says you can start working on your dream career part-time while keeping your other job to pay the bills. Soon, your dream career will take flight and fully support you. Hmm. So that's confirmation. So if it makes sense, I would stay to continue to pursue this dream. But if it doesn't make sense... Um, and if it's not something that's going to have you living well off, I don't know. It's up to you. Now, I was also picking up that there is a particular group of Capricorns. You feel guilty for someone that you're no longer dealing with. You feel guilty because you could have handled the situation differently. I feel to tell you to let go of guilt. We all fall down. We all make mistakes. And I feel that God has forgiven you, but for some reason, you're still feeling guilty. Hmm. And in this card, it also says God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself. Okay. So stop beating yourself up, Capricorn. Are you kidding me? You are incredible still. You are incredible in spite of your circumstances of where you messed up or well you, where you did not deliver in the best way. And lastly, it's safe for you to receive. It's safe for you to receive. You have been forgiven, Capricorn. Now it's time for you to forgive yourself, okay? So this message was kind of all over the place, but I try my hardest to make it make sense for someone and of course if it did not resonate please watch for your sun moon rising i most likely have those videos uploaded already on my channel if not please check back within a day or two they should already be uploaded and thank you so much for watching capricorn i really appreciate it please hit the like and subscribe button you guys have an amazing day bye bye